Hey there, fashion friends. Today we are looking at minimalist ways to style color. Oh yeah. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. So you've maybe heard me say it before, but I've always said there are no rules when it comes to color. You just need to have intention. So that's kind of what we're talking about here today is just how um, you can be intentional with the colors you wear. That's not to say, I mean, obviously there are people that go the complete opposite approach and they just throw colors on colors and they just own that extreme look and that's fine. But that's not what we're talking about here today. Today we are talking about how to style colors in a minimal way. So I'll be sharing some of my intentional ways on how to incorporate color into your looks, into your outfits to look very chic and very timeless. These are just some tips or steps that kind of go on a spectrum. So we're gonna start off with sort of just dipping our toe into the water of color. Then we're gonna go to the other end of the spectrum where you can jump full body into the water of color. Okay, so let's get started. Look at your past and all your worries in the world Wonder if you should be Okay, so first things first you have to figure out your skin tone, your skin undertone and whether or not you're cool or warm. I don't want to sit here and say that you can't wear a color that you absolutely love because just because it doesn't necessarily match with your skin tone. It's more that when you have that revelation of whether or not you're cool or a warm, it completely changes your color game. Because when you figure this out, you will see how unbelievably crazy it is that it will transform the look of your face. So it's important to determine what colors work best for you so that you can see if something makes you glow versus if something makes you look drab. So one easy little thing that you could do to figure this out is just if you have a few different colors, um, some cool colors and some warm colors, just kind of stand in the mirror and just hold them up, hold them up to your face. You should be able to see whether or not it makes your face glow or makes your face look a bit just drab and just, you know, not very, not picking up those beautiful undertones in your skin. But I will also link below a few different articles that I've found that are super helpful with figuring out whether or not you're a cool or a warm. Um, it's great because they'll just ask you a bunch of questions and you can kind of go from there. And some people might be both. So what's crazy is I'm actually somebody that falls in the middle. So I'm cool and warm. I would say I lean a little bit more cool. Okay, so the next step is to sample different colors. say once you've kind of established um, whether or not you're a cool or a warm then maybe what you can do if you don't have the colors is borrow some clothes from friends or you could buy a bunch of different colors and do a little try on and then return whatever colors don't work for you but starting off small and sampling first to really see and make sure that these colors are working for you before you commit to pieces is probably the best way to go and again, I will link some good articles below that show good colors for both categories. Okay, so the third step is adding pops. So this could be anything like an accessory. Maybe it's earrings, maybe it's a scarf, a belt, a pair of shoes. Um, obviously shoes aren't gonna affect your face as much, um, but it'll kind of get you a little bit more comfortable with seeing color. And then pairing those with neutrals. And this is such a fun way to style anyways. Like I do love to play with accessories. And this, this is where I have always brought in a little bit of color is just because there is so much flexibility with it. So this is definitely something fun to get yourself a little bit more acquainted with color and a little bit more comfortable. And if, if it stops there, if it just stops at adding color pops, I mean, I think that's even just a perfect 
easy, effortless way to incorporate color and you could stop there. The next level of that would be wearing like a, like a shirt, like a layering piece, like maybe it's um, like a yellow shirt underneath a blazer or underneath a sweater. So it's not fully in your face color, but it's just a little bit of pop of color. Step number four is tie it together. This is another one that I've talked about quite a bit on my episodes is tying color together. And this is really where um, the intentional aspect starts to come into play because I think this is an easy way to style color and really have that intention. And because we were talking about minimal ways of styling color, I would say tying in color along with neutrals is still kind of where we're at. The other end of the spectrum would be, you know, tying in colors with other colors, but that's like a whole nother subject. Um, that's a whole nother topic. So basically it's just picking two pieces of the same color and then pairing them with neutrals. And so this could be anything like wearing a, a color shirt with the same color shoes, or maybe it, a pair of earrings that have color in it and tying that in with a belt. Maybe it's a scarf tied in with a belt. It could be even as simple as something like a red accessory. Maybe it's like a red pair of shoes or a red belt tied in with a red lip. Just even something as simple as that. It could be even something like, let's say you have a shirt that has this really colorful, beautiful print and you pick one of the colors in that print and tie that into the outfit with another piece, another accessory, um, maybe it's the pant, whatever it is. Step number five is go monochrome. So if you don't know what monochrome means, this is basically where every single piece is of the same color shade um, or tone. And um, some, or it can also be considered when you wear like black and white pieces together, because it's more referring to, you know, old photos that are black and white or of the same tone. For me, I do think you need to kind of be careful with this um, as well. If you are picking a kind of a bolder color is to make sure that you are picking colors or shades of colors that have the same undertone. Um, because like I said before, if you have, maybe it's like a one, a red shirt and then you have like a red blazer, um, they might not have that same undertone. So that's where I think colors will clash. Now that's not to say that it can't happen. There, I have seen it done marvelous, marvelously, but yeah, I would say for the most part, yeah, if you're going to go monochrome to try to stay within the same undertone family. So going monochrome is just a great way of having a very elevated stylistic look without being too in your face, without being too obnoxious. And again, it's a great way to be able to have that timelessness with your pieces. And I just think it's such a chic way of styling color. The very end of the spectrum, the last step is color blocking. So going big or going home. With color blocking, it's normally gonna be two to three pieces, each being a different color. And most of the time, those pieces are gonna be very simple, very plain, very minimal. There's not gonna be a lot going on with them detail-wise. It's just gonna be the color as the showpiece. It's a very bold look, but I also think it's very chic and very timeless. So it is a great way if you wanna go a little bit more bold with your colors, this is a great way to style. Okay, you guys, so there we have it minimalist ways of styling color. Um, obviously there is just, there is so much to this. There is so much to color. There are so many different things that we can talk about with color. So I'm sure I will be talking about this topic again. If there is anything specific about color that you are wondering and would like to hear about, definitely comment below and let me know so that I can make sure to include that in the next episode um, where I talk about color. Okay, I hope everybody's having a beautiful, colorful week and seeing the sunny side of things. And uh, yeah, if you did like today's episode, you guys know what to do, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. If you are already subscribed, make sure to click that bell so that you are notified when I post my new episodes every Wednesday and Sunday. All right, you guys, you have a beautiful rest of your week and we will definitely be chatting soon.
Bye. Look at your past and all your worries in the world. Wonder if it should be on the other side.